What's good, what's good, what's good, folks? It's your boy Nate coming at you once again with another video. Now, I'm going to put this video on all of my YouTube channels because I want to make this perfectly clear of people who come and watch my content. Not so much on this channel because this is going to be a basketball channel if you're watching this from the Basketball Nerds. But this is primarily on my other YouTube uh, channel. Um, the Urbanpreneur, and I'm going to put this on my another YouTube channel. I have three YouTube channels. The Urbanpreneur, Basketball Nerds, and another one that nobody's going to know about. So, I got three YouTube channels. Well, nobody close to me is not going to know about my third YouTube channel. But I want to make this perfectly clear because I got a smart-ass comment on my other YouTube channel about um, I'm not really making any money or I would just tell exactly what I made, whether it's this amount or that amount. Before you comment on people's YouTube channel, it's best to go back and watch their previous content. It's best to go back and watch somebody's previous content before you make a general statement so you won't look like a buffoon. And I'm going to call this comment out because on my other YouTube channel, I give receipts. I give specific receipts. And I get asked the same questions over and over and over again. How much you make? How much you make? You ain't making that much money. I showed receipts. I showed what I've made from apps. I did tutorials, so on and so, so forth. And what I get on my other YouTube channel, The Herbpreneur, is I get, and these are men, they want me to spoon feed them the information. They want me to spoon feed the information. Go back and watch my content. I can't keep making the same videos over and over and over again. Just go back and watch my previous content. It's there. In the Urbanpreneur, I love doing the content. I love doing the videos. But I get a bunch of fickled, finicky people. They want me to disclose my financial records. They want to know specific information of, of a particular app or a particular hustle that I'm doing so they can get validation or reassurance should they step out and do that particular thing. You should not be waiting for a YouTuber to give you information on a particular hustle, business venture, so on and so forth to kind of prep, prep you in the step that you should go to, especially if the contest for free. And what I'm going to start doing on the Urbanpreneur is I'm going to create a Patreon channel and I'm going to start charging people for information because I'm getting these specific questions. Whoa, that was, hell, I don't know if that was a bad or what. They, they want these specific questions and answers almost like a, like I'm a consultant. They want free information. I give you the video and then they want to ask me a million questions on a particular business venture. 
And when I stepped out and started doing these ventures, nobody was talking about this. And I'm going to pat myself on the back as I'm venting and, and venting. I'm a trailblazer. I am a trailblazer. I'm a trailblazer. I didn't have anybody giving me the tools and the information before I got on YouTube. I didn't have anybody giving me the tools and information before I started my coaching business. I didn't have people give me tools and the information before I got out there and started reselling. I didn't have people giving me the tools and the information um, when I got into doing uh, taxes as a tax preparer. There's hardly no videos out there on that. I didn't have people giving me the tools and the information with my next business that I'm gonna start, that I wanted to start a few years ago, and I kind of hedged on it, and but I'm I'm gonna um, probably start it up within the next few months. I didn't get any, I didn't get any tools in it. For, I just went out there and did it. A lot of you guys or women or whomever, just get out there and do it. Just get out there and do it. You don't have to put boothy little punk little comments in my comment section demanding results that I show you specific results when I've already done that. Take your lazy butt and go back and watch those videos. Seriously. Take your lazy butt and go watch free content that I put out there on what I made how I did it, I did vlogs on reselling. I did a video on a week that I did of doing private taxes and doing my coaching business. And it was a substantial amount of money I made that week. It didn't get me that many views. None. But I gave the content anyways. So stop getting in my comment section asking me questions that I've already made videos on. Go back and watch my videos. He's going to make this little comment, you're not making any money because if you did, you would have just said how much money you made. You idiot. I've already made the video on that. I've already made the video on that. Bonehead. I made the video on that already. But if you wasn't so lazy and, and go back and watch the free content, you would have already saw, oh, this is how much he made for that week. But a lot of you people on YouTube, I'll, 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 I'll blame because on the urbanpreneur, this is more for the urbanpreneur guys. People who watch on the, if you're on this channel, last one, I'm not talking about you guys, I'm talking about the urbanpreneur because those those people, the, 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 the audience that I get, they're like, get to the point, show me how much money you make. They want receipts. They wanna know receipts. They get mad if if I crack a joke. It's a real finicky group of people. And I'm making this video because of this comment because this is not the first comment that I got on this. Well, show, tell me, tell me, tell me. I did multiple videos multiple videos now I won't do that type of content on this platform because people will think I'm being bragging and they you know there's just not that audience you know this was more of a self help motivational type video and those videos fell flat and yeah so but look 
you guys are on YouTube and you're trying to make it, you want to be successful, you got to go out there and take chances and, and, and take risks like I have. Like I have. When I first started off a business, I took a bunch of L's. I took a bunch of L's. It's part of life. It's part of growing. Take chances a little bit. Stop being so coddled. Stop being so, you know, entitled. So, going forward, where am I at? Okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come with another video. I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to come back with another video.